everyone welcome back to my channel happy Friday okay so today we are gonna do shop my stash I'm gonna pick out my makeup for the next week but I wanted to share with you a couple of new things I got so I went to the Sephora VIB Rouge sale and I did a haul video on that and then I actually made an online order as well so I wanted to share a few things real quick that I got in the mail this week I got the Body Lava from Fenty Beauty. This one is the color Who Needs Clothes, and I actually really like it. Okay, first of all, the packaging is beautiful. I just want to have it sitting out. You get a lot of product in here. It's just, it's rose gold accents. It has a pump. It's just really pretty to look at, but I really like the glow it gives me. I have it on like my shoulders right now, and my chest area and it is beautiful now it is a little bit um sticky so if you're weird about stuff like that or if you don't like that definitely keep that in mind you can put a very thin layer on and it doesn't feel as sticky but um i mean you can it will transfer like you can touch it and it still feels sticky so I don't know, but I still like it. it. That doesn't bother me at all. I think it's beautiful. So I'm glad I got this product. And then um, I picked up another thing from Fenty Beauty, and I'm going to throw these in for my makeup this week. This is the matchsticks, I want to say. Anyway, they're cream sticks. There is a linen shade, which is kind of like the concealer. And then there is a highlighter shade. It's called Starstruck. It's really pretty. I have that on under a powder highlighter today. And then what I really wanted it for was the contour stick. And this is in the shade Amber. This is sold out in the single form. So I figured I would just get the little trio and try a few of these. And I really like the color of this. It's what I have on for contour today. Anyway, I'm going to put these in my makeup basket for the week. That way I can use them a little bit better. But I wanted to show you guys that I got them. And then can we talk about Pixie Beauty for just a second? I was on crutches last week and Brad was so sweet. I really wanted the Pixie Beauty and, and Dulce Candy um, collab, the Sweet Glow Palette. So he went into Target and got it for me because there was one left like at my Target. And I think it's limited edition. Anyway, he got me another little highlighting duo as well. And this is not limited edition. It's called Delicate Dew. And that's what I have on my cheeks today as the highlighter. So beautiful. This formula, Pixie Beauty highlighters are on point. So anyway, I'm going to throw this in my ba basket for the week as well. And this little palette this is the sweet glow palette it's supposed to be an eyeshadow palette i think but i've been wearing these as blushes eyeshadows even bronzer this dark shade i wanted like a shimmery bronzer one day so i used that this um is what i have on my cheeks as a blush i just kind of dipped in all of them i have this shade right here all over the lid this palette is so beautiful the shades are just so metallic and buttery and i mean it's honestly like a high-end they it reminds me the formula of like becca powders becca highlighters look at that like it's just they're beautiful they're creamy they are so easy to work with the shade on my lid right now these champagne color shades light shades on my lid usually i have to spray with a brush and these are just dry applied to my lid like the pigmentation is so good the metallic sheen it's just this palette you guys need it it's um at target i think they have it online to pick it up while you can okay this isn't a haul I'm going to start talking. We're going to go in my collection and pick out my makeup for the next week. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the things that worked for me and didn't work for me for my makeup from last week. So let's jump in to that part of the video. I'm such a hot mess, you guys. I totally forgot lip of the week. Hello. Um, and I forgot another thing I wanted to share with you guys. And first of all, let's just talk about that. I got an iPhone. Like, I haven't had an iPhone in, like, my last iPhone was an iPhone 4. I think it's been 
four or five years since I've had an iPhone. I've been an Android user. I made the switch a few days ago. It's rough. It's rough, but I heard if you can get past the first week or so and really learn the iPhone features, that I could really enjoy it. So anyway, I wanted to mention that. So if you guys have any like recommendations on iPhone usage or any cool apps, actually, let me know in the comments. But lip of the week was super simple this week because this lipstick works and I'm wearing it today. I um, It just works, I think, because I colored my hair and um, it just kind of works with the color of my hair and it works with any lip liner. You can put any gloss on top of it. It's a matte finish. It's from MAC and it's super comfortable. It's in the color Velvet Teddy, which has been like a favorite of mine for a very long time, but I just kind of pulled it back out. I've been keeping back there in those little spinning things. I've been keeping my lipsticks on my vanity versus on my bookshelf. So I've kind of been playing with lipstick a lot this week and I just really remember loving the formula of the MAC lipsticks. And this one in Velvet Teddy was super easy this week. Like I said, it's a little bit darker, especially for like this time of year, I guess, but it just kind of works because the darker hair has got me feeling a little bit of darker lips for some reason. So anyway, Velvet Teddy has been my lip of the week. So now let's jump into the shop my stash part of the video. Okay, so for primers this week, I had pulled out the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Um, this is cool. I took it on vacation. I actually went camping. I went to a mom's retreat this weekend. And so I took this and it was nice and quick for the mornings. I threw it on in place of a moisturizer and primer. Um, I think this is excellent to travel with. So I definitely enjoyed that, but I cannot wait to start using the Origins. It's the Perfecting Cooling Primer. I love this. I got this at the VIB sale and I really like it. So I'm excited to pull this back out for the week. And then I, you guys, for concealer, I took the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define and the Tarte Shape Tape um, when I went out of town and somehow I lost the Makeup Revolution one. So, um, and my plan was to kind of mix the two, but I mainly used the Tarte Shape Tape for the rest of the week. And then I had got, like I showed in the intro, this Fenty Beauty. This is the color Linen. I've got this as well, so I kind of combined these two. I think instead of using two separate concealers this week, I'm going to use the NARS Creamy Concealer. I like this under my eyes, and I also like it as a face, like a spot concealer. This is the Soft Matte Concealer. I always say it wrong, but this is in Light One Chantilly. So I'm gonna use this for the week. And then for foundation last week, I had decided I was gonna use this Sunday Riley Influencer Foundation. And I used it one or two days when I was out of town and I just, I can't really love it. Like, it looks pretty on the skin, but it feels kinda heavy to me and I don't know, I actually hate the way it applies. Like it looks ugly, but then after about an hour or two, it starts really like looking nice. But I just, I don't like it that much. So I'm gonna actually get rid of this sample. There's only probably one more use, but I'm gonna get rid of that for now. And y'all, I missed, I did pull this out for the week. So I used it a couple days. This is what I'm wearing in the intro. This is the Lancome Skin Feels Good. This foundation is so good. It's not a foundation, it's a skin tint. I actually did a full review, but I'm gonna pull this back out for the week because I really did enjoy it um, and I've kind of missed it. I like this way better than the Sunday Riley one. It just, it's so lightweight on the skin. So I also wanted to kind of update y'all on this Flower Beauty. I talked about how bad I hated this kind of last week. I don't hate it, here's the deal. If you only need to wear a foundation for an hour or two, it does, it looks beautiful, but about hour two, um, hour three, it starts breaking down and looking horrible. But one night I had wore makeup all day and my eye makeup still looked good, but my foundation was kind of worn off. So I took off my foundation and put on this Flower Beauty foundation because I was only going to be gone for a couple of hours. And I really liked it. I just wish it had like longer lasting powers as I throw it. 
I kind of want to mix this with something this week and I haven't really used the TLC foundation in the past few weeks by all May so I'm gonna I'm gonna have this out for like every day because I love wearing the Lancome to the gym but if I want a little bit more coverage or if I want to wear like actual foundation one day I'm gonna pull out the all May I have um, this too from Urban Decay. It's another one of their Moon Dust Shadows, I think is what it's called. But this one's in the color Diamond Dog. It's like a dark brown. It's really pretty. And I like to use this even as a liner sometimes, like especially smudged on the lower lash line. So I'm going to pull this out and play with this a little this week. And I'm also going to pull out this Tom Ford Cream Shadow. This one's in the color Platinum. This is just a beautiful formula for cream shadows, but it's also a pretty color. And actually, that with Urban Decay's Diamond Dog on top would be so beautiful. So I'm going to play with that this week. And then i got to grab a wipe. By the way, I've been loving these wipes. I got them at TJ Maxx. No, at Marshall's. Um, but they're coconut smelling. I love them. Okay. Anyway, um, I had use the Urban Decay Naked palette. This kind of played me this week, y'all. Um, I took it out of town and the black eyeshadow broke all over my makeup, but I do love this palette. This color in Naked 2 is like the perfect color for my brows, and um, this was a great palette this week, but I am going to use those shadows, and let me pull another another eyeshadow palette. Is that a bad angle? So many choices. This is the thing. Oh, I have not. I was just talking about this this weekend, the Too Faced White Peach Palette. Um, I haven't used this. I mean, when I first got it, I was using it like crazy, but I want to use this this week. So I'll have this and then this cream shadow and a single shadow for eyeshadows for the week. Okay, for blushes this last week, um, what was I doing for blushes? Oh, that one um, ColourPop eyeshadow, but I was also using this Pixie Beauty and don't say candy. Is that how you say it? It's the Sweet Glow Palette. I'm going to use this this week as well. And like I showed in the intro, Brad had got me this Pixie Highlighter Duo. So I'm going to use this for my cheek, like my blush and highlighter. This is what I'm going to use for the week as far as that goes. Now last week for highlighter, I had the Amrezy highlighter and this is beautiful. It really is a good formula. So I'm glad that I, when I for originally got this, even when I swatched in store, I wasn't in love with it, but I'm, I'm really glad I got it and kind of used it for a couple of weeks or a week or so because it's really pretty. So I don't know why my blush drawer is still open, but let's talk about this highlighter I also had pulled out last week. It's Butterfly Beach by ColourPop. It's a little bit dark for me. I kind of used it on top, kind of almost like a blush topper this week. It's really pretty. I'm going to keep it for sure and use it when I get a little bit more um, color in the summertime. But like I said, for blush and highlighter, I'm just going to use this, these two new pixie products for bronzer last week i was using the Too faced unicorn tears bronzer this is so pretty i was really surprised by this i mean it's just i've really enjoyed it i'm actually gonna leave this out in addition to the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick, this one's in the color Amber. Like I said, I just got this. I'm going to play with this for contour for the week and then this Too Faced Bronzer for bronzer. And that's it for my so, cheek. So there are my makeup products for the week. You can see the two palettes down here. I don't know. I kind of like just having it all sitting out there. It's all there. I don't have to reach into my collection every day. So I've really enjoyed having this um, kind of weekly makeup basket type thing. So let me know in the comments the products that you're going to be reaching for over the next week. If you guys are doing any kind of like project panning or any kind of kind of shop your own collection makeup basket type thing let me know in the comments because i'm thinking about doing a project pan like 
for summertime or something because I really want to work on finishing up some makeup and moving some stuff out of my collection. So let me know if you guys are interested in that or if you're doing something like that yourself. And yeah, have a great weekend. Bye.